you're watching this, I'm dead. Still flourishes in Gotham, lurking in every shadow. You don't need that mask. I know it's you, Rachel Ghoul. You love this blasphemy, this sacrilege. Did you think you could keep it from me? Parlotrix will not save Gotham from his reckoning. Not now. Protection.
You'll be dead before they get you. Your precious family. I will slaughter them. One by one. And when they have drawn their last breaths, I will burn the city to the ground. You won't get a chance. Gotham is their city now. Watching this, I'm dead. This is a code black. This message was automatically triggered when I destroyed the cave and everything it contained. I know what's coming won't be easy. Many of you knew Bruce from Gotham's celebrity pages. A handsome, charming billionaire. And he was that. But he was more than a headline. He was my nephew. He was a friend, a mentor, and a benefactor to those of us gathered here today. And to those of you who didn't know him as we did, I want to tell you this. Bruce was Gotham. He loved this city more than he loved anything. He was a protector to this city. He worked tirelessly behind the scenes to bring justice 
and equality. There's nothing he wouldn't do. No project he wouldn't champion if he thought Gotham would benefit. And I think in remembering that, we remember Bruce as he truly was. had my back when I needed you. I know you'll keep Gotham safe. Good luck. And goodbye. How's Alfred? What you'd expect. Took him three years to agree to a vacation and Bruce turned up dead. He asked for some time. He knows none of us were there either, right? What about you? You let Jacob Kane give the eulogy. He offered. He thought it'd be easier on us if he was the one to do it. He's Bruce's uncle. Hell of a speech. All that talk about a protector, the works behind the scenes. If he only knew. Catherine wouldn't be there if she suspected. I can't see the anti-vigilante police commissioner presiding at Batman's funeral. Arrived at Gotham U. What do we know so far about this professor? Kirk Langstrom. Batman attached a half-finished file to his code black. Langstrom must have been mixed up in something bad. Then I'll pick up where Batman left off. idea on this faculty dude, Kirk Langstrom. Right. I'll call it in on the way to the morgue. Langstrom's dead. Do we know where his office is? Langstrom's dead. Damn it. The note said his office is in Molten Hall, the third floor. Got it. Third floor balconies open. Don't mind if I do. Here's his office. Hmm. 
Hardly any police work here. Langstrom must have been killed somewhere else. Those marks look fresh. You find anything, Batgirl? So far, nothing here. Our professor is very dead. I'll let you know when I find the crime scene. Good. Well, not good exactly, but at least a lead. The real challenge will be getting out of here without the cops finding me. Good luck. This must be where Langstrom died. The cops cleared out of here way too fast. Langstrom must have been working when he was attacked. Significant blood loss here. Evidence of a struggle, then the attacker pinned him to the wall. They were merciless. Langstrom was dying, but he tried to get to that cabinet instead of the door. What was so important? A hidden door. What secrets were you keeping, Dr. Langstrom? Thermostat would be a clever place to hide a keypad. A microwave. I hope Langstrom wasn't combining burritos with genetic specimens. Langstrom might have programmed his tablet to open the door. A phone number, but that's not a Gotham area code. Could be useful. Perfect. Time to see what Langstrom was so desperate to hide. Langstrom, what on earth were you up to? Batman's dead professor had some serious skeletons in his closet. Langstrom's workstation. I should take a closer look. Well, hello there. A hard drive. I need to get this back to Belfry. Then I can figure out your secrets, Langstrom. Hey, on my way back. The cops overlooked a ton of evidence. Weird marks on the walls, and apparently Langstrom had a secret lab. Hopefully this hard drive I found will have more answers. Sounds good. See you back here soon. Great. needs to see that someone still cares. I'll take care of this. I need to handle these guys before this gets any worse.
quiet. The average temperature of something lights on fire is between 420... <laughs> hey, look up here! I'm a professor of scent! You're done. <laughs> I can probably stay out of sight here. Are the fumes getting to you, buddy? Sweet dreams. <laughs> you burn now, grass. Smashy, no smashy, one will smash, mow you smash, ever again. Smash, smash. Easy, easy. Smash, smash, smash. Smash, 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 smash. <laughs> what are they even doing here? Huh? Enjoying the fireworks. It could bring the whole building down. to kicking back and decrypting this hard drive. Be there soon.
Heading back to Belfry now. Hurry up. I want to see what you got. Good job finding that drive in Langstrom's lab. Once we can get at the data, we can figure out what our next move is. I'm going out. I'm not gonna sit and wait for whatever this shit is. We're waiting for intel, Jason. Once we have it, then we'll go. <sighs> Move. I'm gonna solve this case my way. Stop it! He wanted us to work this together. <sighs> Whatever. That's making this harder than it has to be, kid. I guess, since we're waiting anyway, we might as well take another look at what Bruce had on Langstrom. Crap. That must have been the secondary breaker. The primary went out months ago. I thought the backup would hold. I got it. No need. I've put in a small fix that should hold for a while. Wasn't sure you were coming, Alfred. I'll always be here when you need me, Master Richard. When any of you need me. I'm glad you're here. As am I, Master Tim. This place does need work. 
Damn it. We've got activity all over the city. Sweet. Looks like my plan wins. Hold up. We still need the intel. And Alfred can't exactly set this place up alone. Indeed, Miss Gordon. I have a list of supplies we'll need. I could do it on my own, but it would be faster if I had help. You can count on us, Alfred. We'll divvy it up. Let's finish what Bruce started. That drive will take a while to decrypt. Any luck with the construction site? Negative. It was obviously shut down in a hurry, but no real clues as to why. Definitely nothing connecting it to this guy Langstrom. If only Bruce had had the chance to tell us what he was working on. This case? It's like reading a book with half the pages missing. If anyone can figure it out, it's you, Babs. This is a tough one. Even for Oracle. I wasn't talking about Oracle or Batgirl. I was talking about Barbara freaking Gordon. You've got this. And I've got your back every step of the way. Thanks, Dick. We'll figure this out. All of us.
Jeffrey here. Happy to report we're now fully operational. Before you head back, though... We got something to do, Belfry? The hard drive from Langstrom's lab requires a biodecryption key. Biodecryption? That definitely tracks with what I saw in his lab. <sighs> I guess I'm heading to the GCPD morgue, huh? Indeed. With knights in Gotham as they are, it should be quiet at the station. Relatively. Don't worry. I know my way around. busy night. Hope that makes it easier to sneak inside the station. I remember when they'd let me use the front door. Now, where was the morgue again? The morgue's moved to the far side, past the bullpen. Do your best to keep quiet. Goddamn freaks. That's my daughter's school. We got a few in lockup. One collar in interrogation. I'd pay a hundred bucks for five minutes alone in there. Did anyone claim that John Doe body? Buff guy, wild outfit. You turned nope. your body cam off.
save Gotham. You should try doing the same. You want to save Gotham? Fine. Get out of my face and go do something useful for a change. Give to see that signal in the sky again. Shut it, you weirdo. The morgue is just on the other side of the bullpen. Now would be a particularly bad time to be spotted. Giving me shit. It's bad enough I'm writing a desk. Kane's got me in her sight. Make sure we release the Langstrom scene quick. The freak showed up. Locked. Of course. Someone must have a key. The desk sergeant, perhaps. The forensics team? Did someone target them specifically? Watch your back. Good. Still breathing. Trained you well. I remember him telling you to stay out of Gotham. Dead men's wishes don't concern me. Besides, I'm here to clean up my father's mess. Which in this case is the demon himself. You're not even a little bit tempted to use a Lazarus pit to bring your father back? Wouldn't be the first time. Wait! Why did he go after Bruce?
classic. Langstrom, guess the ME was in the middle of the autopsy. You're looking for a... Heart condition, allergies. I had to stop playing this one. Too addictive. I wonder if Langstrom's prints were a match to any crimes. Langstrom's file didn't say anything about diabetes. Why would he need a glucose meter? You carry this to monitor your oxygen levels on the go. You can learn a lot about how a person lived and died from blood. In another life, I was a medical examiner. He modded the glucometer to conceal data, using his blood for bioencryption. Belfry, the GCPD just clued in that Talia's been here. Better split. Way ahead of you. They're coming in heavy, so be careful. Wait, that man never told me he had access to the GCPD systems. Now I guess I do too? And now, for my next trick... It's time to sneak out of here. Entrance is secure! Spread out! We'll find the perm! Keep going! They gotta be here somewhere! Belfry, the way to the exit is clear. Thanks. Happy to help. Can't wait to see what you found.
SCPD is on to me. Oh, do be careful. It really wouldn't do to chip the paint on the bat cycle this quickly. Of course. All right. Okay, lab notes, formulas, financial records, research into hearing loss, human experimentation and trials? That looks like cash payouts and volunteers. I recognize some of these jerks. They're all known gang members. So Langstrom was doing medical experiments on criminals. You're crowding me. Miss Gordon. The hollow imaging system is back online as of this morning. Perfect timing, Alfred. Hey, I forgot how sweet your setup was, Babs. It's ancient, but it'll do for now. You and Master Bruce are the only two people in the entire world who would consider the Belfry systems ancient. While researching Langstrom, I also called up all we've got on... our party crasher. Talia Al Ghul. She was a match for Master Bruce in more ways than one. Her presence in Gotham is concerning. So is the fact that she torched her old man's body. We sure that was Ra's al Ghul? His DNA was all over the weapon she left behind. I wonder why she didn't take a chance and use a Lazarus pit to revive him. Well, Batman would just find Talia and ask her himself. Good thinking. Yeah, I can double check Talia's kunai for trace materials that we can track. We should also hit the streets, find out if anyone had any beef with Langstrom. Sweet. Time to bust some skulls. The evidence board has been updated. I can't get over what Talia did to her father's body back there. Good riddance. Going in a Lazarus pit once is hell. Who knows what a thousand dunk would have done to him. So you think it really was a show of mercy? Oh, she was putting on a show all right. But I doubt it was mercy. 